The Lewis winch is a chainsaw-powered winch, pulls 8,000 pounds with one Lewis winch snatch block. Originally invented for the selective logging industry because, of course, all loggers have chainsaws. And the, the way it's, it works is it has a little piece of cutterless chain that drives off the back of the Lewis winch and onto the drive of the chainsaw, and that's what gives the, the, the winch its power. Now, there's another system that the Lewis winch uses, which is called the direct drive system, which is just a little adapter assembly that goes between the spline on the chainsaw and bolts directly up to the back of the Lewis winch using the same two bolts that hold the chainsaw bar on. So what we've decided to do is adapt another product to run off a chainsaw exactly the same way. That product is a post hole digger, an ice auger, or a, a wood drill. I'll bolt it up to a little Husqvarna chainsaw. Now remember, it's not all work and no play with the Lewis multi-drill because we can put our ice fishing auger on here and take it out on a weekend. Let me show you how it works. The adapter plate that's supplied that bolts onto the same two bolts that your chainsaw bar attaches onto. As a matter of fact, it uses the same two nuts. And then the Lewis multi-drill just bolts onto that and sandwiches the drive adapter in between. Now, this is the same drive adapter that we use on the Lewis winch. So if you've got a Lewis winch, you'll recognize this. You'll know how it works. Now, one of the beauties of using a chainsaw to drive an earth auger, a one-man post hole digger, as this one is, is, is that if it hits a root or a rock, it's not going to throw you flying the way most post hole diggers do because there's a clutch on the, on the chainsaw, and that clutch is going to act exactly the same way as it does if your chainsaw bar gets stuck in a log. It's just the chain is going to stop, and the engine is going to keep running and allow you to work it free and then start again. So it's a very safe, fun, and easy machine to operate. As a matter of fact, let's go have some fun right now and let's dig a hole with her. So let's see if we get the saw fired up here and I'll show you how this baby will drill a hole. Trying to get that to stand up on its own there. Now you can see within minutes we've got a perfectly good hole. I'm putting in our 4x4 post and we're off and going. 